Happy New Year and uh, welcome back. And so starting out, we're actually doing these uh, tests for the bond strength between the uh, carbon fiber and the acrylic. And here you can see I'm just uh, showing you the first one here. And you can see we've got our load cell set up there. And on the left there is where the actual test piece is. And this is just sped up right now. And uh, you can see now it's in real time again. You can see this one's getting close to 500 pounds that it's pulling. And we'll see what happens here. Is that, um, <coughs> so that was the first one, and that was testing um, the T peel of the uh, carbon fiber against the acrylic, which is basically just trying to pull the two bits apart from each other. And this is the second test here. So I did, we did three tests the same as this. And these numbers are actually really good from what we were expecting. So we were super happy. So that was about 570 pounds and we have an area there that's two inches by one inch. So basically pulling about um, 285 pounds per square inch is what it takes to actually separate those two, which is way higher than what we were expecting, which is really good news. So those three tests pretty much gave us about the same result, around between 500 and 580 pounds um, for two square inches. Now this test here is the shearing test. So now we're actually trying to slide um, the carbon away from the acrylic by pulling it sort of crossways. And this one obviously goes much higher in terms of uh, what it takes, as you can see. But anyway, let's watch and see. So that one basically exploded at about 1600 pounds. So this is what that one looked like. And that first overlap there is where we were trying to um, break it apart. The actual bond area between the acrylic there on the left and the carbon fiber in the middle is two inches um, long ways there and a um, half an inch in the sideways direction. So it's a total of one square inch. And so it took 1600 pounds of pressure to break that so basically the shear force that it can handle is 1600 psi so as you can see here in the next picture the acrylic actually failed and the bond failed as well so um, but way higher numbers than what we thought probably two and a half times higher than what we thought they'd be and you can see actually the acrylic kind of opened up there and has a very clean kind of cut which is interesting, but uh, we're going to be doing a couple more tests like that as well because we wanted to get some more examples of doing the shear test like that. So you'll see that in a future uh, video. And the next two tests, we're testing uh, the bond strength between um, carbon f two pieces of carbon fiber. Again, the shear is similar to the, the last one, but just testing how much force it takes to basically shear two pieces apart. And that's mainly as a control so we can compare that to what it took to uh, get the uh, acrylic to come apart. Two by two may never be the same after this. And as you can see, that one took about 2,360 pounds before it broke. And so this is the second test. Exactly the same as the last one, just in, uh, for a comparison to make sure you know we're getting decent numbers. And you can see this one went a little bit higher, um, but basically similar test. And here you can see me getting behind my makeshift uh, shield just in case everything kind of blows up in my face. So the outcome of all this is there is about two and a half times the bond strength uh, that we require to hold the windshield and the other windows in place with the pressurization. So all in all, we're super happy with um, how this testing came out. 
And meanwhile, here's a couple of parts that have been released. Um, some of you saw the other day, but this is the uh, those leading edges of the strake that attach to the door skins. So those ones have been uh, popped out from the mold now. And um, they don't really need too much, a little bit more trimming. And here's the back wall, one of the back walls there for the strake tank. That one came out nicely. Again, still needs a little bit more trimming. Jeff's just sort of doing a rough trim on these parts right now until um, they get set up to do the final trim. And here are those braces that go between the firewall and the aft bulkhead and they haven't been trimmed off yet um, so they're just sitting there ready for that and they came out nicely as well so getting all the pieces we need now to uh, get the firewall into place eventually. And here's the left side door mold so that one's had its little primer coat sprayed around the edges there so that one's uh, now all ready uh, to be laid up, possibly tomorrow. And then we'll be able to get working on uh, trimming that door. And here all three guys are working on this this afternoon. So this is that um, mold that makes up various different uh, ribs for the straight tank uh, for both left and right side. And this one, a lot of work on this one because there's all kinds of you know angles and different pieces and stuff. Here the guys are just about finished up here, so they're putting down the peel ply uh, just to finish it off. But that's pretty much what they spent most of the afternoon working on today. So it's good to have that one out of the way. It'll still need the heavy um, layers put on that probably uh, tomorrow. But um, everybody's been sort of looking at that one, dreading doing it. And at least it, now it's done. And as promised last time, here is the um, stuff for our pressurization system. So that was the controller and then there's two of these uh, outflow valves. And what's interesting is that there's no plumbing, no wiring, um, no instructions or anything that came with this and that's how they sent it. So we're just going to have to figure it out. Anyway, that's our update for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.